exchange with the front face lock and the European uppercut. Go behind counter by Cash Money. Went for the drop kick. Jay Awesome saw it coming and sidestepped it, but you can see Jay Awesome starting to favor those ribs. As Cash Money was doing the same earlier. And look at this. Working on the arm here is is uh, Jay Awesome. Jay Awesome really known for being a powerhouse and a brawler. Not really known for his uh for his technical ability, but he is showcasing a lot of mat skills in the ring tonight. Nice counter trip up. Cash Money pushing away to get some distance here. Huge head kick! Cash Money with a huge head kick. We just saw Anthony Boudreau lose to a head kick in the last match. And here comes the knee breaker crashing down. And Cash Money getting picked up here. Oh, counter! Cash Money! When it seems like he's lifeless, he comes back with something. What's he going for here? Oh, he went for a power bomb and got countered. Nice face buster counter by Jay Awesome as he was a step ahead of Cash Money. And now Cash Money putting the strikes together here, ducking the lariat. Catching the kick, but getting pushed away. And then a huge STO. Cash Money push, getting up, pushing away for... Oh, counter! Cash Money was going for a suplex, got countered and taken, taken down with a huge lariat. Huge clothesline. Cash Money with another huge head kick. Dragging his opponent out into the middle of the ring. Cash Money locking in the Boston Crab on the walls of Jericho. But Jay Awesome refusing to tap out. And a huge lariat from Cash Money. And Jay Awesome pushing Cash away to get distance. There's the go behind. Back elbow counter from Cash Money and a Lariat taking him down. Cash Money dragging him. Dragging his opponent out into the middle of the ring here and going for a surfboard stretch. Will Jay Awesome submit? No, he will not. Jay Awesome refusing to die here. Side headlock from Cash Money. And there's an arm wrench, and oh, busting Jay Awesome open as that heel kick just busted the fore, the the forehead open, and then now he's back working on that arm here, looking to set up that anaconda vice possibly, or maybe that uh that crucifix submission that 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 Christo or Christo or whatever. Oh wait, Camel Clutch, Camel Clutch is applied, but Cash Money does not tap out. And Jay Awesome made him pay for it here. Slamming him face first into the mat. Kick to the midsection. Irish whip reversed. Cash money. Oh, there it is. There's that weird crucifix submission. And will Jay Awesome tap out? No, he will not. And cash money. Dragging his opponent out into the middle of the ring here. And now he sets him up for a camel clutch shares of the Iron Sheik. Will Jay Awesome submit? No, he will not. Jay Awesome pushing Cash Money away again to build that distance. They, they've used, utilized that so many times in this matchup here. Oh, overhand belly belly suplex. Cash Money. What's he doing here? Cash Money trying to regroup, I guess. Irish whip. And a huge sidewalk. Sorry, swing and choke slam. Cash Money pushing away. And there's that head kick again. Cash Money. Getting poked in the eyes. These guys pulling out all the stops here. These guys. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Osaka Cutter. The Osaka Cutter taking down Cash Money. Cash Money on the top rope. Tennessee Jawjacker. Cash Money with the Tennessee Jawjacker. Irish Whip. Countered by Jay Awesome. And there's a counter by Cash Money. And there's the kicks to the chest from Jay. Going for that arm ringer. Counter kick to the midsection. And these guys are just going at it. Oh, hurry. 
And Jay Awesome sending Cash Money down to the outside. Cash Money getting back in the ring. Land the smack down with that people's punch. And Jay Awesome. Oh! Cash Money fighting out of the two-handed choke slam. Cash Money fighting out of the two-handed choke slam and four. Hey! Jay Awesome holds on to the apron. Calf kick missed by Cash Money. As Jay Awesome was able to, to pull back and, and dodge it. But he does not dodge that people's punch right there. There will be a dark show, ladies and gentlemen. There will be a dark show uh, Saturday night. So if you don't see yourself on the card tonight, please believe that I will try to get you on the show via WWE Universe uh, Saturday, the night before SummerSlam. <laughs> I think I'm going to start doing like dark shows like before pay-per-views. Before actual WWE pay-per-views and cash money showboating on the inside of the ring after hitting that huge clothesline, taking Jay Awesome down and showboating a little too much as his back was turned and he gets caught with that with that face crusher. Cash money with a rake of the eyes. Oh wait a minute! Cash money! He has it locked in the Anaconda Vice! Will Jay Awesome submit? No! Jay Awesome does not submit from the Anaconda Vice! Jay Awesome refusing the tap. And he wisely gets out of the ring, gets out of harm's way here. This match has gone on for 16 minutes now. And Cash Money just showboating and taunting his opponent and Jay Awesome back in the ring. Jay and Cash Money, look at this. Cash Money playing mind games, getting out the ring and then getting back in as Jay Awesome gets out. However, he gets caught in a side headlock and takes a back elbow to the face, followed up by a huge right hand. And Jorge! And yes, you can. As long as uh, it's not handled by anybody. And the only ones handled are PYT, Kalen, and uh, uh, him and a, him and a, him and a, him and a. I don't know. Like if, if, if it, what's it called? If, uh, not to take away from this amazing match, but I mean, if you can come to, uh, I mean, Heather McCauley is available. Um, Matrix is available. Uh -huh. There's the counter to Irish whip and then driving the shoulder into the back. Into that lower back of Jay Awesome and then oh, hi! sending Jay Awesome shoulder first into that steel ring post. And Jay Awesome coming with a full head of steam and spearing cash money after countering the counter suplex. And now he's just driving the knee into the to the throat and chest of cash money. What a match, ladies and gentlemen. These guys battling it out like WGCW originals would. Cash Money with a springboard fail. As he, I guess he thought he could nail the distance, but the distance was too great. And Cash Money falls flat on his face. Just message me about it. We'll talk about it later. And there's a huge lariat. And Jay Awesome. Looking for that Fury 5, that FI4, hurry! Jay Awesome in complete control of this matchup. Stomp to the midsection. And an axe handle. Cash money is out cold, it almost seems like. But no, he's still alive it. I don't know how, but he is. Takes a forearm shot to the back and cash money. Getting out of harm's way as he knows that Simply Awesome was coming up. Kick to the midsection. Went for the head kick sidestepped by Jay Awesome. But he did not sidestep that spinning back kick as Cash Money counters the kick to the midsection. And sends Jay Awesome back into the ring. Cash Money just regrouping a little bit here. And Jay Awesome he said, I'm not going to let you regroup. I'm coming right after you. Cash Money sending him. Into the corner, almost into the barricade. Jay Awesome just able to stop himself in time. 
Belly Bay Suplex count on the outside. Nicely done by Cash Money. All right. If you have character ideas, you know, be like Scotty Star and, and, and message them to me. Cash money with a forearm shot to the back. Message it to me because I'm commentating the match. I'm not really reading the chat. Awesome. So just send it in the message. There's a counter to the arm ringer here. And then working on that arm. Cash money ducking a clothesline and nailing a German suplex. Awesome counter move. And there's a huge clothesline. Cash money back up to his feet. And they exchange hands here. Arm ringer. Head kick sidestepped. Go behind counter. And a drop kick to the back. And there's a counter and a German suplex. Jay Awesome with the German suplex. He's telling Cash Money to get up. And drives the knee right into the back of the head. And Cash Money is in a bad way. Raking the eyes. And a huge clothesline. Cash Money going up top here. And a Tennessee jaw jacker from the top rope. And it's a 60-minute time limit because I don't want, uh, oh, Jay Awesome's hurt. Whisper in the wind, and he's taken down. Just a glancing shot, though both men are hurt, and Jay Awesome up to his feet first. Look at the agility of Jay Awesome with that reverse DDT. Wrap around with first DDT, and now Jay Awesome signaling the end here as he nails that bulldog. Cash Money pushing away to get distance. And here he comes with that crucifix submission again. That crucifix submission again, like a modified cross face. And now he drags his opponent to the middle of the ring here. And Cash Money has it locked in, the camel clutch. The camel clutch is locked in. Will Jay Awesome submit? He does! Jay Awesome tapped out! He tapped out! Cash Money has defeated Jay Awesome in a submission match from hell! What a match! Cash Money with a huge, huge victory showing why he is the WGCW Heavyweight Champion and the Cruiserweight Champion. Cash money, new theme and all. All right, I will check your message on Monday. Because that's when I check WGCW messages on Mondays. Nixon does have a rematch clause. And he'll probably get it at Hell on Earth. Wait a minute! Cash money not done! Cash money! With Jay Awesome laid out on top of two tables! What the hell is he doing? And a body splash through the tables! Cash money with a body splash through two tables on Jay Awesome! Trying to make a statement to quote the legends! What the hell? He already won the match. Jay Awesome just got splashed after having a hellacious submission match with cash money through two tables. What the hell's gonna happen next here? Cash money clearly making a statement. And wait a minute! Devastators in it! He's he wasn't even scheduled to be here, he just speared cash money! What the hell did we just see? 
Devastator making a statement that he wants the World Heavyweight Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for WGCW tonight. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. We hit a high tonight. 103 viewers. Let's see if we can break that next week live on Reckless. Uh, for those of you guys who are who are new to the channel, please be sure to, to uh, follow so you can find your way back. WGCW is on every every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, having said that, please allow me to go over some stuff for you uh, E-Fed heads. Alright, cool. So the promo for Dr. Blaze has been written. So Jeter, you need to uh, go ahead and promo against Dr. Blaze. As I will be reading Blaze promo tonight. Now I need to talk to something. Talk to you guys about something, you know. Um, it's kind of important here. There's a lot of E-Fed drama going on. Okay. And I know that Pretty and Jax are busy right now. And Ryan's probably doing stuff for school as he's always busy. Um, so... Alright, so here's the thing. Alright, here's the deal. You guys have to realize that WGCW, PCW, and BWC are all friends and we're all happy-go-lucky. And and we're partnered up, we promote one another, and that's the way it works. I'm pretty sure, well, actually, Ryan had a show tonight, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not, I gotta find out the schedule of PCW shows. But uh, it's hard for me to keep track of more than one. I just know about Havoc on Mondays. Anyway, um, so apparently with this whole thing with Dr. Blaze leaving PCW to come to WGCW, um, me personally, I don't see anything wrong with that. Just like if you guys, if somebody wanted to leave, um, but I, I, he normally streams on Wednesdays, or at least I was told. I don't know. But, uh... Alright, if you want to leave an uh, E-Fed or whatever, for if you feel like you're being missed, one thing to just up and leave, okay? Just to just like, okay, my guy's made, fuck you guys, I'm out. It's one thing to do that, but then, if you feel like you're being mistreated or you're not comfortable there, I don't see a problem with you leaving. Now, having said that, um, this whole Dr. Blaze thing is being blown out of proportion. Dr. Blaze simply was uncomfortable there. Um... And, and Blaze can tell you, because Blaze can tell you, because we had been talking, and I told him that he should have at least given at least a week notice. And I, I know two week notices are for jobs, but this ain't a job. This is a video game. Okay, it's only it's only a job for me. I just love doing it. But so so that's what it was. So that's what it was. Now people may not agree with the way or how it happened. And I can understand that, but you guys have to put it behind you as it is a video game. If WGCW, P PCW, and BWC ended today, in the end, you guys would be like, oh man, that sucks, but in the end, nobody really cares. Okay? <laughs> it's, just, it's just plain and simple. You guys would be bummed out for a little bit, and then you'd be like, well, you know, it was good while it lasted. Okay? So, so stop tripping. Stop causing stress to everybody. Just, uh... You know, so I mean, and 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 those are if those are your reasons, those are legitimate reasons. I'm just saying, people are taking it out of proportion. If okay, Bedro is leaving uh, WGCW because of school. Okay, if and when he comes back, that will be completely up to him. If he goes to another EFED, that's also completely up to him. I'm gonna support Bedro wherever he goes because. Bedro is the homie, and I like Bedro. He's cool. He's kick-ass. He hasn't done anything wrong to me personally. Now, if if Blaze wants to leave, if if Blaze wants to leave PCW to come to WGCW or whatever, that's between Blaze and Ryan and me, <laughs> or Blaze and Ryan and whoever else he's going to. That's between the two EFED owners and the the guy who handles the created wrestler. So, having said that, everybody else keep your two cents to yourself, as it really does not concern you over who's Mr. Loyalty or whatever. You can have your opinion on somebody, but 
at, the, at about that situation, it's better to keep your opinions to yourself because all it does in the end is cause drama and instigates a lot of bullshit that no one has, you know, that no one really wants to deal with. It's a video game. People can get deleted just like that. Nobody really cares. Okay? So, I'm, I'm just letting you guys know, you know, because I've, I've obviously, you know, been doing something right to be running WGCW as well as I do. And I don't make the shows until the day of the show. Like, nothing is ever planned out in my mind. I think of everything on, on, on the fly. Everything that I do is on the go. I go off of your promos, and then I try to twist it up and mind fuck you to make you think something's going to happen that's really not going to happen. And uh, you guys saw that tonight. You guys don't know what the fuck's going on. Only I do. Now, as far as running a successful EFED, PCW to me is a pretty damn good EFED. Okay? I've already said they have the best site in, in history of anything. Okay? And uh, Playmaker does, but he doesn't. You do, but you don't. You don't know what's going on. <laughs> you just know your part of it that we talked about, but you don't know anything else. Um, now, PCW runs a hell of an EFED, and I commend them for that. And BWC runs a hell of an EFED, and I commend them for that. Uh, you know, the best website, their websites by far are better than mine. Mine is, is, is not, mine is cheeks compared to the BWC, and especially the PCW website. Now, having said that, I always give credit where credit is due, you know. But at the same time, to avoid a lot of issues and problems, um, to avoid a lot of uh, issues and problems as an eFed owner to to anybody else who who does eFeds or whatever, it's best to let your your eFed know that if you can't do the show on time, that you are going to be a little late. Okay, pretty will text me. And tell me to tell everyone in, that's waiting in the channel that they're running a little late because they're not home yet and PCW is, has changed to this said time. Now, if, you, if you're if you just, you know, sleep or whatever, or you're just chilling, because I mean, I'm not going to lie, I've been knocked the fuck out. I've gone to sleep on stream. <laughs> I don't give a shit. But, <laughs> but I'll tell you right now. I'm going to let you guys know what's going on. Like, if I can't do the show at the time that I said I was, or if I can't, um, if I can't uh, do the show that day, I'll put it up on the website, or I will IM somebody to tell everyone, or I will tell you myself. I'll get on stream for a second and be like, okay, look, show's been moved because of this reason, blah, 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 blah. And I don't even need to give you a reason, really, but I do anyways just to keep everybody informed as to what's going on. Now... That's Ryan's EFIT. Pretty's in Pretty's BWC, you know, with Jax. But she she writes this this the shows and stuff as of late. She's been helping a lot with the writing and all that. So I I just wanted to say, you know, let's let's get that out and open in the air and, and squash all that stupid shit because in the end, we're all friends. I have no problems with Ryan, I have no problems with Jax, you know. And 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 uh, what's it called? So I mean, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Now, if there's any other e-fed situation that anybody wants to bring up and talk about, let's bring that up so we can squash any drama or we can we you know because that's this retarded. It's a game, okay? When WWE 12, I'm because I tell you guys every time a new game come out. And Vamp can attest to this. When I had SVR 2010, oh no, I'll even go further back than that. 2009, when 2010 was coming out, I said, all of you may not be getting on 2010. Some people might be getting fired. 2011 come out, all y'all might not be getting on 2011. Some of y'all might be getting fired. <laughs> so it's a game. People come and go, okay? You're not guaranteed to be on the game anyways. So, so you know, stop you know, doing all the drama and stuff that makes people not want to put you on the game. Because then you're just going to look like an e like a, a internet instigator. And that, you know, that that's pretty much it. So, unless anybody else has anything as far as 
as efed drama or, or any problems that they want me to answer or whatever questions whatever let me know now before i go and eat and 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 uh just chillax for a bit and update the site and shit like that cuz uh it's retarded <laughs> It is Rizark. Now, I can act and say that you requested to be taken off the alumni, but it's his site, and you did wrestle there, so if he wants to keep you there, that's on him. I can't uh, really say... Oh, here's something I want to put out there. King Roberts made a promo. King Roberts made a promo. Me, personally, I would love to have King Roberts in my e-fed, but... We have to work out some issues with Pretty and Jax because, according to Pretty, Jax created the character King Roberts instead of making him J.J. Roberts in BWC. So they, they're they a little upset. They're a little upset. I can understand why. It was their gimmick. So, yeah, that has to be worked out. I have King Roberts downloaded song and all that shit ready to go. I just didn't put him on the show tonight due to that issue. If you didn't find yourself on the show, let me put, let me say this right now. Warmaster123, Holy Adept, um, please resubmit to me your characters. Just, I know Warmaster couldn't think of a name. Just send me the way he looks and the moves that you want and the entrance music. And I'll do everything else. And if that's the same for Holy Adept, I'll do it for you too. I just don't have the name and the stuff like that. So I don't want to fuck up and just give you a random and you don't like him. Now... Um, here's another thing, um, speaking of, uh, respect, um, <laughs> first, I'm sorry, I was reading, the, I was reading the, uh, Mebo, and, uh, <laughs> Ryan, you don't have to worry about nothing, alright, I'll just say that right now. WGCW is hiring, but Blaze, you applied for BWC, if I'm not mistaken, so I have to see if you get into BWC first before I can let you apply for me. Now, um, you know my rule. Two shows and you're done, unless I know the reason. Unless I know the reason. I know, I know you're leaving, uh, Bidro. So, Bidro is officially uh, leaving WGCW. Not too happy about it, but it is his decision. Now, I respect the 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 creativity of, and all EFET owners should do this. They should respect the creativity of the CAW handler. If I think. That, let me see, who, let me, all right, Harley, and Harley knows that I love Harley, if, and, okay, he knows I love him and all that stuff, He's, that's my boy, but, um, I, it, Harley knows that I don't like his attire, <laughs> and he knows that I don't like his theme, but, that is his character, that is his creativity come to life. That is well, not to life, virtual life. That's his creativity coming to virtual life. He wants to see, he envisions this person on the EFED that he is in, and that's who he wants to see. And that's fine. I'm not going to change his theme unless he asks me to. I'm not going to change his attire unless he asks me to. I'm not going to change anybody's attire unless they ask me to. No EFED owner should just randomly change things without without at least presenting it to to the uh, to the uh, handler. If it's for storyline purposes, I can probably see it. I can probably understand it. Like with, with, with uh, Beast Mode, you know, going from BWC, you know, legit dude to, uh, to now being a member of Evil. Okay, so he's guaranteed to change a little bit. And that goes with the storyline. But... Nobody should just go and, well, you know what? I feel like changing your guy because, because of this reason and that reason. And, and I understand it's, it's, you know, whoever's owner, it's your EFED. But the thing is, is that uh, you at least should present it to the person just to show them that little bit of respect, even though it is your EFED. 
and that's why um and that's why I will never change anybody unless they ask me to. I will never change it. And that's why I can admit to when I botch up a problem. I'm not going to just randomly change it without letting the person know. Like uh, DJ, tagging people, coming down the ramp and whatever. Evgeny Bujo doesn't do that. He's a heel. He doesn't acknowledge the crowd whatsoever. I apologize. I thought I changed it, and I didn't. So, and b drill, there will be a spot for you on WWE 12. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. What's up, Chosen Rage? So, I mean, certain things like that. You may not, as an owner, you may not agree with what people do with their characters, but you have to respect it because it's their vision, it's their creativity. And if they don't sign, if no one signs up for your EFED, then your EFED is pointless. <laughs> so, the, uh, the general consensus is to get people to join your EFED, make them happy by showing them their creativity, perform in the virtual wrestling world, and then you put your creativity in it as an owner with with the people you sign to your fed and the uh, stories you put on and the entertainment you give. That is the main thing an eFed owner should worry about. What somebody looks like or, or comes out to or whatever shouldn't hold no relevance to anything. And, and I can tell you this because if anybody remembers, okay, back in 2009... Uh, early 2010, there was a person named Video Gamer 111, okay, who who came out and uh, he had two different peoples. He had two different characters, okay. And if I probably did get your character, and it's probably in my email, I just haven't checked it yet. Um, now he had two different people. He had a fat. Ultra fat version of Luigi from Super Mario Brothers. I don't give a shit. What you, we have seen SpongeBob in WGCW, have we not? Okay. Now <clears throat> he also had a guy who looked like a young Eddie Guerrero. He had the mullet. He had a red vest on. He had the the, the white shirt underneath the white tank top. He had the blue jeans, and he was like, "Oh, this is my this is the essay right here." Yeah. Yeah, this is the Latino heat. We lie, we cheat, we steal, yeah. And then he had these big ass Lion King bare feet. And I was like, really? Well, that's your guy. If you want to be a gangster Latino with bare feet, then that's your creativity. I don't care. <laughs> so I'm just saying, if, if I, you know, you got to pay. You got to pay that respect to the handler. SM Cracked. Yes, that's what his name was. That big ass Luigi. SM Cracked. Okay? And we had the Super Jack Brooks who had a hoodie with CM Punk tattooed on his lips. Okay? So I don't care what you do with your character. You can make any character look good if you know how to promo. Okay? The Shockmaster. <laughs> It's one of the greatest gimmicks of all time because of his failure. Okay? He fell through the wall. And it was funny as hell. So, that, that's that's the thing. That's that's that. So, just respect the members in your EFED. Give them their creativity. Their creative freedom. And, uh, you know, just just let it, let, let it be. Let it be. Because, I mean... It, shit happens where people get upset and they leave and then they, they go somewhere else where they find themselves happy. And and then you're like, well, that sucks because now I'm, I'm down a guy. But anyways, all in all, after going through all that drama and yakety 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 bullshit, I want to thank everybody for watching the stream. Um, I will be back on and it's, it's 8.31... Give me, like, at least till 10 o'clock, because I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm fucking hungry. I'm going on one hour and a half of sleep. So I'm going to go eat, come back, and do lips. But I will be back on. I could make you some chicken. I really could. I really could make you some good chicken. I really could. I'm talking about what type of chicken. You want grilled chicken? You want fried chicken, and you want that, that nigga chicken. You want the fried chicken. You want the, yeah. You know you want the fried chicken. And you guys are most welcome for the show. Thank you guys for being here, because without the viewers, the show means nothing. 
Um, <laughs> but you want that good chicken, right? I mean, I could make you some chicken. I really could. But I won't. Goodbye. Uh-huh.